Hey everybody, this is Jaegerbaum. Welcome back to another Gotham City Imposters gameplay commentary. So in this one, I'm giving you a uh, subscriber day recap. So yesterday, since I hit my 400 subscribers, I spent the day playing with you guys. Ooh, that sounded a little bit silly. I spent the day gaming with you guys. And I just wanted to give you a little recap while this gameplay is going in the background. So most of the day we had, oh, pretty much a full party every time. It was awesome. The one thing that wasn't awesome, though, is that since we had six people in the game every time, um, it was very difficult for GCI to actually keep up with us and keep us at us a group. So often we found ourselves actually going against each other, which is horrible. Horrible for me because I'm trying to record and get gameplays. And let's be honest, you guys who watch these videos and are subscribed to me are fucking beasts. And I'm not even kidding. Like, there hasn't been a guy that has joined up with me that was a slouch at all. Speaking of that, we have two of the, well, I think we have three of those guys in here now. So, the first guy we have is Trodowski, or Trotsky. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong. I didn't, I, w I wouldn't mind seeing it again. So, get a kill quick, please. Um, and also, we have Tater Nate. Uh, and of course, Ryu's here. So, Ryu's becoming a kind of a staple in my videos, just like Angel, because of one key fact. As you guys know, that I am now playing on my II Jaeger II account when I play GCI, so that's solely what I'm doing. And um, when I'm on there, it's it's to game with you guys. And when I, so if I'm playing GCI, you guys are playing with me. Um, well, it just so happens that Ryu and I have about the same gaming schedule, surprisingly. So I, like I said, when my wife plays, not my wife plays, you saw my wife play, she's horrible. Um, when my wife goes to bed, uh, I like to game late at night. So often I'll be on like 10.30 till about 3 to 4 o'clock in the morning. And Ryu is just about as silly as I am and he does the same thing. So you'll you'll probably be seeing a lot more gameplays featuring him in here. Uh, speaking of that, in this game, he, he's actually using essentially Miss Malibu's version 3 class. And I am must say, I am very impressed. This dude, I think he gets almost 40 kills playing the way she intended, etc. He changed a few things to make it more feasible, but overall, it's essentially the class. He's using just the Thunder Dragon. Uh, he's doing, And I think he's using Jack in the Box as well. He's doing that because uh, uh, he's trying to get a gold Thunder Dragon, which is kind of cool and hard and really annoying when you go up against him. So I actually generated my own class. So when we do start a party together and I get thrown on the other team, Oh yeah, you better believe I have flak jacket, I have body armor, I have a mighty character. Everything possible to stop him from killing me. Yet it doesn't, I'm still his nemesis. Oh, whatever way that works. He killed me enough so he is my nemesis. I think that's how it works. I don't know, we played one game, he must have killed me 12 times. Just shooting the little noob tubes at me. Because uh, I'm using the nimble character here. So it only takes like one full round of the missiles if you have the, the mod for it. Yeah. So let's get back to the point at hand. We have subscribers in here. It was a blast the whole day. Um, we played for, I think, like six or seven hours. I had to do a little brief pause so I can make my wife some dinner. Yes, I'm the cook of the house. Um, she's the one bringing home the money, so I will make her some food anytime she wants. So she stopped in after her first job, cooked her some dinner, but beyond that, we played the entire time. We must have played like 40 or 50 games. So, first I want to say thank you for everybody that joined up. Um, it was awesome playing and meeting you guys. You are pretty cool. Um, yeah. And the other thing I want to tell you is that I'm sorry if I did not get to game with you during that team. I know a lot of people joined in right around like 6.30, 7 o'clock when Miss Malibu usually comes home from work. And I did have to go. I said in the, in the previous video that I was going to be playing until... She came up and she came home from, from work, so I, I'm going to spend time with my wife as much as possible. I'll spend time with you guys as much as possible too, so that's why I was balancing it that way. So yeah, for the people that did not get to game with me, uh, I remember uh, quite a bit who you are. So if, if you see me online, feel free, shoot me a message, say, hey Jaeger, I didn't get to game with you last time, I'd really like to, that's no problem. To that matter... I did have to block someone from my friends list. Remember in my previous video, I said, please be respectful, please be play, understand that there's a lot of people that might want to play or might want to game during this session, so please do not spam my inbox. 
I'm not going to mention names, but I did block someone from my friends list. He was on it one time. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. I understand he wanted to game with me. And I took that opportunity to game with him. But when I am in a game with subscribers, just like we are here, if I get 13, 14, 15 message invites or game invites that say you want to play with me and you just keep spamming me and spamming me, I'm going to delete you. I'm sorry, I don't have any time for that. I, I'm more than happy and more than more than patient enough to play with people and to try getting everybody into the game. Uh, but when you do that, it's immature and I do not want immature friends on my list. You may be young, but you can still be mature. Just remember that. Be wise and being polite is the best way to get on get on my well not to get on my friends list. Everybody's welcome to be on my friends list, but to stay on the friends list and to actually play. And I don't mind playing every single game with you guys. So just please be polite. Keep in mind there are probably now almost a hundred people on my friends list that are just from you guys, just subscribers that want to be playing with me. So yeah, enough of that. Enough negativity. I don't want to be negative. I also want to take this opportunity. I, we had some pretty big names come in here and join us. So Red Ham, USLA, he joined us. And I want to take this time and opportunity to also say, I'm sorry, Red Ham, I didn't mention you in my 400 subscriber video. Guys, Red Ham, check out his channel. I'll post the link in the description. This dude is amazing. Not only is he a great commentator, but he's a, du a good dude. So yesterday, my wife, Miss Malibu, she has her own little channel. You can subscribe to her if you want. That's okay. She's just going to put up some random shit. But yesterday she put up a little vlog of her just talking about her day and everything. Just nothing, nothing like attacking anything or anyone. Um, but some dude just out of nowhere randomly comes up to her and posts a comment and says, Oh my God, I thought you would be hot or something. Don't quote me on the actual thing, but it's like, Oh my God, I thought you would be hot. So he's, he's like slamming her and Red Ham took his time out of his day. Um, he actually called my wife on Skype and he, he said nothing but the kindest words to her, gave her advice on how to deal with some of this stuff. And to me, that's an honorable guy. If an honorable guy, if someone can call my wife, settle her down and help me out in the bedroom. Thank you, Red. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but if you can calm my wife down and, and say kind words to my family, things like that, no matter what, you're indebted to me. I, I'm indebted to you. Sorry, you don't owe me anything. I'm indebted to you. I appreciate everything that you've done. You've, you've helped her out so much last night because she was a little upset about the whole thing. To that matter, if you would like to go check out <laughs> that chant, that, that video that she got hosed on and, I don't know, possibly say something to the dude that said it, Feel free to. If not, I don't care. I'm not trying to start like a, a YouTube battle or anything like that, but it, the dude's an asshole. You don't go to someone's channel who you don't even know. He's not even subscribed to her. doesn't know the whole situation, but you don't go and say that. So, to the point. Red Ham, thank you. You are awesome. I am so sorry I forgot to mention you and helping out my channel. You've done numerous things to help me and my family, my wife. And once again, I am indebted to you. But yeah. So, also to that matter, please, you guys, so in this game we had, I think in this actual video, we had five people, five subscribers playing. Three of them had Skype. And I'll be on Skype, and I love using Skype to chat with you guys. So what this does, it helps you with the organizing of the party, letting everybody know, like, sometimes GCI doesn't let you get into a game right away. And there's often a delay in between each lobby, and it just lets people know, like, what's going on, so I don't feel like I'm, you're just sitting in an empty lobby waiting for a game to start or I'm neglecting you. So please, if you don't have Skype, it is free. It is 100% free. If you don't have a computer near your PlayStation, you can get it on your smartphone. It's free. It's completely simple. If you do have a computer near your, near your PlayStation, and you have a USB ported headset, like any Turtle Beaches, any Tritons, I have the Sharkoons. All of them have a USB component that actually plugs into your PlayStation so you can chat. All you have to do is plug that into your computer and now you have a headset that you can chat or a microphone that you can chat on Skype with as well. So if you have Skype, please get it. It is so much more engaging. Like we had so much fun just chatting. We could talk strategies. You can call people out. It's it's awesome. But, yeah. It, just look into it. Take a look. Sit, it'll be a lot easier to play with you guys. It'll be a lot more fun for everybody. 
to be informed about what's actually going on. But so, so I guess uh, maybe it's time to actually start talking about the game, the gameplay. So in this game, I am using the Kingmaker and the Persuader. So you're going to be seeing a lot of Kingmaker videos. I apologize if that bores you, but. You know, I'm trying to get a gold gun. You need a thousand kills with this weapon before you can get the thing gold. It's going to take a lot of gaming. So I played essentially almost every game that we played. Uh, yesterday I was using the Kingmaker Persuader combination with Throwing Stars. Absolutely love this combination. Also what I love, something about this game. So one cool thing about this game, I think the coolest thing actually, and this is brought up by my friend Power Romanesco. We were just chatting in Skype one time the other night and he's like you know what's really nice about this game you can actually take any weapon learn it use it get comfortable with it and become really good with it there's nothing that's completely underpowered and at first I didn't think the Kingmaker was that good I probably still wouldn't say it's one of the better guns but I learned a method of how to use it it's something really cool about how GCI is is that you can take any of these weapons and become actually very efficient at it and you can see by this gameplay, I think my final score, I think it went 40 and 11, or 41 and 10, or something like that. It's some 0 and 1 combination. So you can become good at it with any weapon, and that's some really cool thing about this. So yeah, I'm not quite going to talk about tips on how to use the gun yet, because I want to save that for my gold gun video, um, which, look at this guy hiding. You silly little minx. I'll get you with my throne stars. Yes, I will. But yeah. So I'm going to save my, my commentary about how to actually use this gun. A, a proper class setup video for it and everything. Um, because I, I think it deserves a little bit more respect and actually use than what we're seeing. So let me just mention here. Uh, Tater Nader, number 10. He was sort of saying in the last video that we were, or the last game that we were playing... He's like, was that YouTube worthy? Was that YouTube worthy? And I thought it was awesome. Uh, and, you know, sometimes getting gameplays with this gun was pretty difficult. So I was like, no, that one's not YouTube worthy. I was ashamed. I was like, maybe going positive, barely. And he's like, man, I really wanted to get on YouTube. So Tater Nader, I think Trotsky was the same way. He's like, yo, yeah, well, get a gameplay, get a gameplay. So we tried so hard. And in this one, I am running around frantically right now at the end because I was like at 38 kills or 39 kills, and I wanted to hit the 40 kill mark. I thought I was doing good, and then I get two assists right here, and I was like, I got to kill this guy right before the buzzer. And there it is, 40 and 11, Kingmaker gameplay, having fun with my subscribers. Once again, if you see me online, shoot me a message, be polite, be kind. I will add you, and we'll, we'll game together. Y'all, see you later. Peace.